So there you have it. Another year. Another smarmy, unctuous Oscar celebration in which the liberal elite failed even to mention the assault on civil liberties and the gross abuse of power being perpetrated by the United States government, both domestically and abroad, in the name of the American people. The closest thing to a political statement was Anne Hathaway lamenting the circumstances of her character in pre-revolutionary France. Are you kidding me? Where is the outrage? I even went so far as to have the wife of the president with the worst civil rights record in history. Yes, I am referring to Barack Obama. Announced the biggest award of the night. Remember the good old days not so long ago when Michael Moore wagged his corpulent finger at the camera and exclaimed, shame on you, Mr. Bush. Is this sudden silence by the Hollywood establishment the price they have agreed to pay for our government's continued support of Benjamin Netanyahu and his brutal oppression of the Palestinian people? Are Barbara Streisand, George Clooney, Steven Spielberg, and the rest of their so-called liberal friends so besotted by wealth, so encumbered by privilege that they are willing to turn a blind eye to the rape of the American populace, the very fan base that have provided them with vast sums of money that is occurring on a daily basis. Are they simply unaware that the United States, while comprising less than 5% of the world's population, holds more than 25% of the world's prison population in a growing network of for-profit prisons which are built and maintained with taxpayer dollars? Are they ignorant of the vast flow of mostly minority and exclusively poor and disenfranchised Americans who are being funneled, even railroaded, into this corrupt so-called justice system with no regard to the impact on their lives or the lives of their families, with no hope of rehabilitation, and in the vast majority of cases, no regard to guilt or innocence. The only real considerations in these out-of-control halls of injustice are the bottom lines of corporate shareholders and the sticky fingers of corrupt politicians and judges. Are they really comfortable sitting at Spargo eating the jaded cuisine of that scurrilous Austrian food whore, knowing that merely by their silence they are condoning the abdication of all rights gained and all progress made by free-thinking people since the implementation of the Magna Carta and giving credence to the proxy murder of anyone, American or not, innocent or not, anywhere in the world, all done in their name. Shame on you, Hollywood. Shame on you. I used to be inspired by some of you. But now the very thought of your endemic hypocrisy brings the taste of bile to my mouth.